Hey, how you doing? I'm John Leguizamo, and these are my top five at 105 on WQXR. Uh, I, I think the reason I really, I really, Chopin really talks to me is, is, is especially piano pieces. I, I, I can focus so much better, and, and, and it goes deeper inside me when it's a piano piece. Something about a, a lone player and the piano, how it just act, it goes deep into my subconscious as opposed to symphonies and, 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 and uh, chamber music. It just it keeps me at, at, a, at, a, at a shallower place in my, in my, in my, in my mind. Um, and Chopin, something about the melancholy in, in, in his work, just, you know, really, really, really appeals to me. It just, you know, uh, I'm, you know I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, depressed, but uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate my melancholy and I appreciate... The, the, my depression has always been sort of a impetus to be creative for me. Um, somehow I've, I've learned you can't be an artist unless you really appreciate those down times and the difficult times and hitting bottom. You really need to access that. Otherwise, you can't really write anything of, of, of worth or, or, of, or, or, or with power or that speaks to people if you don't allow that to happen. And... Uh, I mean, I'm not Tom Cruise t- saying people stay away from meds. I'm not. I'm not a Scientologist. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not telling you that you, you can't medicate yourself. But I, I'm saying appreciate. I appreciate it. You know, I tell that to my kids all the time. I say, you know, these sad moments. These these are the ones that shape your happiness and allow you to have a sort of something a barometer to gauge yourself. So um, <clears throat> that's that's uh, my Freudian. Jungian take on this whole thing. One of my favorite composers is Franz Liszt, and uh, I, 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 this guy just, I, I, I don't know. He, I love his energy and his, the madness in his work, and he was willing to go to places that other people didn't go, you know. And uh, it's interesting because when we did Moulin Rouge, we had somebody, Matthew Whitted, an actor, an Australian actor, playing Sati in the movie. And I remember he'd play these, uh, the Genopédie all the time. And, you know, he was constantly playing. And this is also based on a poem, and which, is, which is really interesting, you know, that he, that he structured the piece uh, on, 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 on a poem that was important to him. And, and, and so it gives it that structure and that movement, which is interesting that, that uh, you know, we writers use music to inspire us and, and the musicians use writers to inspire them. It's, it's interesting how we, we pass the baton back and forth. I'm of the old school of Cassavetes in Strasbourg, who I studied with, and, and I, film is, should be an improv, and it should be as improvisational as possible, and, and it's a different medium than theater. It should be cr- incredibly spontaneous, and, and that's how I feel. I don't feel like anybody should be stuck to dialogue. So in, in that sense, it's more like jazz, and, and theater's more like classical music to me.